This section is called Applied SEO, and we're going to talk about a rather advanced technique called Latent Semantic Indexing. LSI compares how often words appear together in the same document, and compares how often those occurrences happen in all of the documents that Google has in its index. So for this Google example, we're going to search WW2Guns. Okay, here we are at Google, and I'm just going to type in WW2Guns, and let's see what Google returns. I'm on the first page of Google for WW2Guns, but Google is actually bolding the phrase World War II. So even though the search phrase is WW2, Google is actually bolding in the title tag World War II and in the body copy World War II as an identical search result. Pretty interesting, huh? Well, let's take a look at some of the technology behind that and then how we can actually use that on our web page. Here's the actual mathematical formula for latent semantic indexing. I mean, I have a minor in physics, and this is complete gobbledygook to me. And, and the truth of the matter is, you don't have to care about this. We just want to know what exactly are we going to do to make our search engine rankings higher. So let's do a little exercise. So let's say that we have two web pages online. One of them is about a dinner fork, and the other one is a fork in the road two of the same words that have clearly different meanings, but Google's a computer. All it's going to see is fork on one page and fork on another. So what sort of things is Google going to look for in the accompanying text that's going to help it determine what it's all about? So one example might be, well, if 19 Main Street USA is used along with fork, we could maybe make the case that that applies to a fork in the road. But like a lot of websites, they include their contact information down at the bottom of the page. So maybe that's not the best example. Maybe LSI has to be more sophisticated than that. So what it does is compare multiple relationships. And you can see here that as soon as we start to add other words like pasta, or stay on the left, or kitchen, or merge, it becomes more and more clear which fork equals dinner fork and which fork equals fork in the road. If we wanted to create a web page that was highly optimized for the word pasta, one of the things that most people would do is create these nonsense, crappy phrases like, if you're seeking information about pasta, you've come to the right place. Our website is all about pasta. And if you don't find great pasta here, we guarantee you we'll give you a bonus. Well, that's just crap. Sure, you've all heard of keyword density. That is creating more instances of the keyword you want to rank for on the page. So what? Does that mean that you can just go ahead and put pasta on your page 50 times and rank in the search engines for the word pasta? Absolutely not. Google's more sophisticated than that. What we want to do is find related words to pasta not just synonyms, but related words to pasta that can help us enhance our position on the page. And we call those lexical words. So for instance, spaghetti is a form of pasta, right? So are noodles, so is ziti, so is lasagna, so is macaroni. But carbohydrates are also associated with pasta because there's a lot of carbohydrates contained in pasta.